well, we'd have to look at this in a much more in-depth manner, of course, because this question has been asked for, for centuries. I mean, the ancient Greeks asked this question, of course. And so I think we'd have to figure out what kind of answer they would give back then when it was originally asked, because obviously they didn't have the scientific research that we have nowadays. And so they were much more grounded in realism and much more grounded on Earth. Now we're looking at that stuff that's even more grounded. We're looking at the fundamental levels of molecules in order to, to gain an answer to these questions. So allow me to um, rephrase that, that, that question. Um, instead of asking that, how about, how about instead we, we look at it again from a, from a much more grounded perspective that perhaps Socrates uh, would have looked at it. At his, as you know, Socrates was the man who asked this question. If, if of course, if, a, if you were to, uh, let's say, uh, if you were to go outside and you saw this corked up white boy busted down sexual style, would you, in that same instance, consider him goaded with the sauce? And, you know, of course, this was one of the questions that um, that inspired Plato to continue Socrates' legacy. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no history buff. I don't know if it was the other way around, but, you know, it went in that kind of lineage. And then, of course, that question was carried on to modern times and to this day has still never been answered. However, of course, German 985 is mm, one of the yeah, most Germa. premier examples of this. As you see, he's living proof that that is, in fact, true, that, you know, a quirked up white boy can, in fact, busted down sexual style and still be considered to go to the sauce. As you know, he has a, a great following. And so, you know, I think that the question is, is, is fundamentally flawed, but you know, it is, it is definitely a, an interesting conversation starter. Yeah, no, I, I mean, well, like I agree, obviously, I don't think that you're necessarily wrong, but I feel like Germa is kind of the exception, you know, um, when you look at, because, I mean, okay, think about, you know, every other quirked up white boy in this day and age, right? None of them could ever, but none, none of them could ever amount to Germa. Like, yeah, no, I you know, you know I what I mean? Yeah. Agree, yeah. So, you know, I think it is valid to believe that that theory has been proven, but I would argue it's still up in the air because obviously we have, you know, um, quirked up white boys who simply just do not have the capacity to bust it down sexual style. So, you know, like I would argue well, it's more on a spectrum than anything else, you okay. know? Well, I, I understand what you're saying, but like the, the point of the question, the point of the question, of course, was to, you know, ask if it was possible because yeah, obviously back in Plato and Socrates time, back in ancient Greece, you, busting it down sexual style was not commonplace it wasn't a thing you know and so now we have in well granted germa is the exception in the vast majority of corked up white boys you know it improves that it is possible you know what i mean and so i think german nine saying the german 985 is an exception is like the equivalent of saying um you know can we write a book and then somebody writing a book about peas and nuclear bombs and, you know, you going, well, books are on a spectrum now, you know, okay. you understand, if you understand how dumb no, that sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, I personally don't believe um, Germa's, well, I believe Germa's on a spectrum, but I don't believe that, you know, being quirked up and being able to bust it down sexual style, I don't believe that that is a spectrum. 